Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to resolve the problem with the orange wireless touch button on HP Pavilion laptop under Windows 10. If all the other touch buttons work properly and your device, uh, your net card is detected by the system in the device manager and you simply can't uh, turn it on uh, using uh, the wireless touch button you may try to default uh, to load default settings from the BIOS uh, just to do it you have to reboot your computer and when the HP logo appears in the middle of the screen you have to press escape then F10 to get to the BIOS setup and then using mm, our arrows keys you have to go to exit and load uh, setup mm, defaults yes and then exit saving changes yes then you have to wait a little the system is loading And uh, after reboot, you have to click that icon, this icon, sorry. Okay. Then go to the network, click network. And then go to the settings. And in the settings, you have to choose Wi Fi and try to use this slider button and only then touch this and it should help it should help now you can use this button and it should work it should work fine if it doesn't it may be the matter of drivers it may be drivers issue and you can try to find appropriate drivers in the internet but I think that the better solution than to use uh, the official HP support center is just to Google for your drivers you can add Windows 7 in the end especially if you are using uh, the older computer uh, older computer so you've got just to increase your chances to find uh, some drivers I found my drivers on driverscollection.com and in my case I had to install them here's the list of the drivers I used I don't know is this necessary or not but uh, I went to
properties and in the properties I checked uh, I went to the mm, compatibility and I ran them uh, in compatibility mode for Windows 7 I don't know if this necessary or not but I did like this I did like this and it helped uh, after uh, installation of uh, network LAN adapter driver I had to restart my computer and then I had to do it for the second time just to load uh, default settings from the BIOS and it helped in my case I hope it will help in your case as well uh, thank you. that's all thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video if you have got any comments you can any questions you can post them in the comments and that's it thank you for watching bye